In April, the Environmental Protection Agency unveiled its newest National Pollutant Discharge Elimination System permit for so uh, stormwater requirements. The new permit contains the biggest set of changes in 45 years. Mick, uh, Rick Merson, director of Needham's Public Works Department, presented an outline of the new changes at the June 28th Board of Selectmen's meeting. Uh, the document uh, at the time resulted in uh, 550 or 60 pages of comment and response by the EPA to the comments. The result of the prolonged meetings were six minimum control measures designed to manage pollutant runoff into the town's bodies of water. The first is public education and outreach. We uh, require more uh, uh, interaction with the business community, with the residential community, and with the development and construction. It requires us to get uh, more involved and bring them into the process. Tying into education and outreach is public participation and involvement, which requires the town to hold stormwater management plan hearings annually. In addition, the plan must be posted on the town website and include tracking and reporting. The third part of the plan refers to the illicit discharge detection and elimination. A general bylaw must be created that prevents the sewage system from flowing into the stormwater and an updated map of all stormwater structures, sewer systems, and bodies of water must be completed by July 1, 2019. Rick Merson provides some cautious optimism. Our number of septic systems are being reduced every year with new uh, tie-ins to the system, so we believe that will be diminishing in the future, but things, things happen out there, overflows, uh, you know, or, or systems fail and they overflow <coughs> through the soil or above ground. Construction site runoff control involves projects that are affecting over an acre in property size. What we haven't been doing that they're going to be requiring us to do is to what do they do about the sedimentation runoff? How are they controlling their, their excavation location areas? How are we preventing any of that runoff from coming off private properties into their storm drain systems and our system or off to the street and into our storm drain systems? Post-construction control will require an additional bylaw that addresses on-site infiltration, drain connections, and a communal infiltration system. There's going to have to be some conversation with those property owners on what they're going to need to do in order to improve the quality of the runoff on their properties into our system. Ultimately, we're going to be the ones responsible. Step six is the critical good housekeeping and pollution prevention. And this is really where DPW is going to spend most of its time in actually doing the cleaning of the system and the maintaining of the system. Included in this section are parks, open spaces, vehicles and equipment, and the sweeping and cleaning of streets. However, there's one particular change that will come with winter plowing. It says you can't use any chlorides of any type. That's sodium chloride, calcium chloride, magnesium chloride, with everything that we use for normal winter road maintenance short of just plowing. While there is still work to be done, town manager Kate Fitzpatrick feels that Needham is in a very good position. I think we're in very good shape. Uh, I think very good shape is, uh, there's a lot that is going to be in this application and is not going to be inexpensive. Next steps will involve exploring financing options, including seeking additional funds from Fall Town Meeting, establishing the bylaws, and submitting the permit by the September 28, 2017 deadline. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilbert.